Established in 1983 under the principles of racial segregation, Kyalicha is the second largest black township in South Africa. With a population of approximately 1.2 million people, over 60% of Kyalicha's population is unemployed. Among those suffering from widespread poverty are mothers, mothers-to-be, and children struggling to get by and find a source of income. That's where the Polani Maternal, Child, Health and Nutrition Project comes in. Polani's motto is, healthy mothers raising healthy children, and that is truly the goal here at Polani. Polani is a community-based NGO which started in 1979. The focus of Polani is maternal and child health, emphasizing on improved birth outcomes, prevention of malnutrition, child abuse and neglect, and the raising of emotionally and physically healthy children, even in the poverty-stricken areas. Hi, I'm Delaney Johnson. And I'm Yudink Bell. And we have had the wonderful opportunity to work here at Polani in Kyalicha this past summer. One Polani project that we were involved in is the Mentor Mother program. The Mentor Mothers are outreach workers that identify pregnant women and malnourished children and work with the clients to better their outcomes. The project manager, Kwani, is here to tell us more. Mm, the Mentor Mother program is a program for mentor mothers who are going into homes, doing house to house in their geographical area, um, weighing every child from zero to six and picking up every pregnant woman just supporting them in the home and, and teaching them. I don't like saying teaching, but advising them about um, ways of staying healthy and also picking up any issues around health and referring them to the hospitals and clinics. But it's more about relationship building and also slowly building that relationship and trusting and supporting. That's basically what they do. Favorite part is interviewing mental mothers when they still come. They are new, they are worried, they don't know what they are going to do. They are desperate, some are depressed. But my other favorite part is when they start to bloom. You know, they have their own income, they are in control of their lives. They are happy and they are able to sort of show me their job. One of our projects surrounding the Mentor Mother program was an analysis of the Mentor Mother database. We focused specifically on the database of malnourished children and used various statistical techniques. We looked at many variables of the database such as weight, height, head circumference and age at admission, birth weight, malnutrition rating, HIV and tuberculosis status, food security, grant and nutrition program status, and exclusive breastfeeding. We found many trends in the data. To name some, we found that low birth weight and premature birth were the two most commonly reported reasons for malnutrition. Severely malnourished children were admitted approximately 10 months earlier and had a median birth weight of 1.8 kilograms, nearly 1 kilogram less than those labeled moderate and mild. Receiving a grant, such as the child support grant, did not significantly affect the food security of the home, with 73% of the children receiving the grant, while only 42% report having food security. The median birth weight of children with and without depressed caregivers is separated by only 0.1 kilogram, while it is separated by over 2.5 kilograms for their weight at admission. Because of this, we recommended that the effects of caregiver depression be further studied and that Polani creates a clinic or program to assist with depression. Per year, we, in Cape Town specifically, we, we hit around about 4,000 to 5,000 families in our books, in our folders that you have been sorting. But house to house home visit, I cannot count. But in the Eastern Cape, it's, a, it's a, I think because we have 60 mental mothers there, so it's partly half of what we are reaching in Cape Town. So I can proudly say maybe 6,000 people per year. Another project we completed was the researching of multiple types of coverage surveys to test the coverage of the Mentor Mother program. In our report, we detailed the methods of smart methodologies, semi-quantitative evaluation of access and coverage, also known as SQUEAK, and simplified lot quality assurance sampling evaluation of access and coverage, also known as SLEEK. Another program we worked with is the Income Generation Project, where mothers from the community are selected to learn skills and use them to make items sold in the Polani shop as a method of generating income. So once we have identified a beneficiary through the Mentor Mother Project, 
the employment project, which is the income generation, comes in to prevent the problem within this individual family. How we do it, we once we've picked a, 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 a candidate who is the young uh, child, the mother or the sibling, or we will be an elder sibling looking after that baby, or the grandmother, anybody who is caring for that problematic child will be taken on board on the employment side. We, we have screen printing, where we, we do those beautiful, colorful clothes, beds, uh, uh, aprons. We do have weaving, weaving using free end, like you see them down, downstairs doing. And we have you, you weaving upstairs, where we, these beautiful beds and cushions are coming from. They use the hand loom, where you have to go on the bed. Then we also have the fresco group, which do this collab with these beautiful big animals. We do have bidding, but most of our bidders are like independent. They just bring their consignment. I am like overseeing the whole program, overseeing in the sense of knowing who does what where and facilitating the whole process of production beginning from the identification of the skills needed to the training part till the mother is now settled in a center we facilitate her production we do quality control on her product we put the things in the shop let her do sales then facilitates the process of capturing of the sales to process payment facilitate the payment process till the mother's pay. Our task with this project was to fully understand the entire process of the income generation project and use this information to create a point of sale and stock control report.